Hello friends and family and welcome to my channel. Uh, yesterday I left my summer house but on the way I uh, collected a, a maple tree and since then it has been constantly raining and that maple tree really needs to get into a training pot. So it's not raining at the moment so I'm gonna get to work and try to get this done before it starts to rain again. It's been growing in our community area with the boating club and it had the excellent choice of growing in between a water post and a lamp post. So when I did this uh, collection, I had to cut a lot of roots just uh, not to damage the wiring of plant in the ground. So, yeah. I'm gonna cut a, a few pieces of uh, the lot. <laughs> This is uh, wood that I have used for other things. It's excellent to reuse for this kind of project. Quite important to get the measurements right, so better measure twice and cut once. <laughs> about to screw the wood pieces together. This is the long side. Like so. And the short side goes on top. This uh, This uh, kind of uh, box is optimized for using 4 meters of uh, Siberian larch wood, which is the size uh, they are sold in. stainless steel screws and I know that the uh, large wood will uh, last very long so I just put screws that last equally long Have you heard about the happy happy dude and the angry dude Look at this one, 
You see the rings in the wood? That's a sad dude. That's a mistake. Never build anything with uh, the sad dude. It's stuff that happens because I'm a little bit stressed. Here we have the happy dude. Excellent. That is due to the nature of wood and how it uh, moves uh, in the future. Wet, cold and windy. Not a good time, but this is the time I have to do it, so... And... Dude, and the other one is uh, from the center of the tree, so that's just a surprised dude. Then you can use any, any side of it. So the box is uh, done now, we're just gonna change uh, tools and uh, let's go to the next step. So I will drill a few holes for extra drainage. So my second battery is out of power, I must have forgot to charge one of them. Uh, there's uh, always two solutions for the same problem, so let's go with the second one. That was the hammer drill. to find some uh, weed cloth <laughs> I had one laying around that fit, fits exactly that's amazing pure luck So I need to take some stainless steel wire to fixate the roots or what's left of it. Always take what you think you need and uh, add like 50%. <laughs>
a little bit more on the other one. Okay, so for my Yamadori collection uh, I try to use my own compost and it needs to be sieved before filled up and uh, I use some uh, mini clay balls to make more drainage. Uh, I'm gonna spare you that part because it's gonna be messy, it's so, it's so wet the compost. So I have well enough of uh, my own compost here. good amount of mini clay balls you get a very light and airy mix and I have something else in my greenhouse that I think is good for uh, for maples so I'm gonna go and Get that. So this is uh, a mix of uh, peat and perlite that I uh, grew some uh, carnivores uh, bog plants in that didn't make our hard winter. So, so the mix is looking quite good now. I will need to add some later so it's time for the tree so here it is a massive tree with lots of weeds growing in it i don't know i don't want to mess too much with the roots now i think i just leave the weeds for later gonna get the roots down it has I think I removed more than 50% of the root system so I would like to keep it this is how the tree used to grow so in this, under these circumstances, I want to have it as close as it was growing before. So yeah. I know it has been growing at the same spot for more than 10 years and I have cut it back every year because it was a threat to the to the water and the electricity where it was collected What did I say about taking more wire than you need? Okay. Just 
fighting it up until it can st stay by itself in the pot. a messy job today. Would be better to do it on a sunny day, but that's not in my power to decide. So yeah, it's getting a little bit better. Gonna get the grill again and we're gonna support it a little bit higher as well. So I'm back with my tool and uh, gonna do put a few screws here. Just to anchor the steel wires in. Feels quite stable already, so that's good. Of course, I haven't charged it enough. So just to demonstrate that I can work manually as well, if I have to, like so. I'm gonna get this uh, wire, I think it would be good to lean it more to that side. I'm quite high up. Yeah, it's getting a lot better. I don't know if I need the other two ones. do it anyway. Better safe than sorry. So the tree is already close to leafing out and it's possibly the last few days it was possible to collect trees at least this time but so I'm gonna fill it up. bit more of the main tray bolts. There's a lot of uh, cut down materials here that we'll need to clean up and there's many trunks on the tree uh, there's yeah, three trunks on the tree I will only need one, possibly two of them so 
There are uh, different theories on what is the best way to report a tree or collect Yamadori. Some people say you should take off as much foliage as, uh, as you take away roots. And the other school says that you need the foliage to feed the roots. So, I'm not going to say which one is the best way, this is just how I do it, and I prefer to wait a little bit with the more stress to the tree, so this is how I do it, and other people may do different. This tree was uh, growing on a very, very sandy soil. I have read that uh, it's harder to collect that on sandy soil than on organic soil. I don't know for a maple that really loves organic soil, uh, this I hope will be a improvement for the tree. So this was a messy job. I will continue to work on the on the soil here. But I think I'm gonna take you for a good look at the tree first. So just a last picture of the tree. You can see it's a lot of options up here, not as much further down. And it's really coming out in a leaf right now, so maybe it was too late. The tree was going to get uh, destroyed and put uh, in the garbage pile anyway, so yeah. I hope I have saved it. If you want to know how this goes, please subscribe to my channel and you will not miss any updates. So thanks a lot for watching, take care, stay safe, bye.